JV talking about what, why, why the old guy, he, he need to stop. Man, these old guys need to stop. You need to back me up, JV, and tell Melo to go sit down. Melo hooping, man. Melo hit some big shots the other night. Can't JV been it? awfully quiet. I've been riding him. But he ain't said nothing. That's Bill. And that's Will. Today on the Bill and Will Show, like, comment, subscribe below, wherever you want to, wherever it is down there. Um, We're going to go with throwback. Can we go with throwback? Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers number one. Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers number one. Well, we're going to talk to Houston Oilers, man. The, uh, Will Fuller, the wide receiver there, said, um, he said, without Bernard Hopkins, <laughs> Bernard Without B Hop, his name Bernard. His, his name? name is DeAndre Hopkins. Without, without You're right. Without DeAndre Hopkins. You're always Hopkins. disrespecting Houston, man. The Houston Astros, the Houston Texans, you know, the Houston Rockets. We get a lot of disrespect from you, man. He said the field is wide open now that uh DeAndre Hopkins is not on the lineup anymore and it frees up the other wide receivers and it's gonna be uh, catches in bunches for other wide receivers. You you agree that they're a better Absolutely. wide receiving core without DeAndre? I don't, I don't know if they're better without DeAndre Hopkins. You know if they're no, better because they're I not. I don't know if they're better. I wouldn't go that far and say they're better. Yeah, they're no, but he is correct. DeAndre Hopkins is here. The rest of the receiving core on the Houston Texans is here. So without him, everybody steps up one level or two levels. No, everybody has to step up. Don't mean they will step up. No, they, they were good receivers. They were all right receivers. No, they weren't all right. They were really good. If they were good, they would have been no, here. No, DeAndre Hopkins is on a whole other level. He's he's by himself. I mean, on that team. Now, you, you got Beckham, you know, uh, Antonio Brown when he was playing. They got some guys that can go. Why does everybody say Antonio Brown? He ain't even played a whole season. Yeah, but he was a heck of a receiver when he was there. Yes, yeah, so everybody let's, let's knows. Let's talk that. about somebody who was a heck of a receiver. Yeah, I just who mentioned play. I just mean, Julio I, Jones is right there. Yeah, Julio Jones so mentioned him too. So say him before AB. Say the guys that actually played before AB, please. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna say this about my boy DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, he was at another level, but now that he's gone. You got the rest of the guys that can step up. They can catch and can. they can play. Can't and they're going to do up. real well. They gonna do, you're going you're gonna to see the next superstar in Houston right now. I don't know if it's going to be Will Fuller or uh, Cobb. I don't know who it's going to be, but one of them is going to step up and be their number one. I know that for well, you. You have fact. to be a number one. I mean, going to be here good you go number with the, one. you go with the disrespect again. You're going to have to be a number one. Just cause, no, Gibson, just because you – Lose a number one, I mean, you gain a number one. Now you it's, got, not, it's not like they was garbage. Now you got a whole bunch of number twos out there floating around without a number it's one. It's not like they was garbage. It's just that DeAndre was at such a, another level, such a high level, that these guys couldn't get a, get their time to shine. But you're going to see it now. Well, you shouldn't have got rid of them in the first place. I believe that, too. Uh, you went out and you, you want to have your Belichick system, O'Brien, you want to do all of that. Now you're... Receiving court thinking there are a whole bunch of Terrell Owens and Ocho Cinco's when you got a whole bunch of Judy, oh. Judy Elements and uh, a whole bunch of Will Fuller can stretch the field. He can flat out go. Yeah, when he playing, when he when he's he not he's hurt. hurt. He's been hurt. He's been hurt. I can't I can't say nothing about he's been hurt. He need to get on the field and stay on the field. Now y'all now y'all's uh, quarterback is amazing. He can make every throw in the book. So you gonna have a chance. Amazing. to Amazing. You gonna have a chance to catch the balls. Now will you do it? I don't know. Because you are Will Fuller and you're not Odell Beckham Jr. or you're not uh, D Hop or you're not Julio Jones. You're Will Fuller and you have, uh, off, you have uh, and you're not the best wide receiver on the field. Um, and that's that, man. Did you, didn't y'all pick up uh, Old Cat from uh, San Diego? I'm not sure. I thought y'all picked up Steals. We did, Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills is a really, uh, I like Kenny Stills. We got a but real have, nice receiving Y'all have a nice, y'all have all, y'all have number two receivers. I'm not across a big, the board. I'm not a big O'Brien fan, but I, I do see where he's going with this. Yeah. I do see where I, he's going with this. I can see this. where he's going you know, too. You but know? he should have done this years ago, because if I was the GM, he'd have been gone. Yeah, but I, I see what he's yeah. doing. I see what he's doing. He's, he's trying to put together that Bill Belichick, I got a whole bunch of really nice players. I don't have no superstars. I got a whole bunch of really nice players. I I, I see that. Oh, O'Brien. 
your future. Unemployment, buddy. You, it's not gonna work. Oh, come on, man. I'm not wasting that young man's time out there. With speaking of speaking of that, they was talking about, oh, we're gonna pay uh, five hundred million dollars to our boy from Lubbock, Texas. They think they're going to win a whole bunch of championships, but I'm going to tell you something, it's not going to happen. They overpaid for that brother. Now, I'm glad he got paid because we need to get paid. He didn't overpay. They overpaid him. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not going to do what they think they're going to do. They think they're going to win four or five championships in the next ten years. That's what they think. Dang. It's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you why it's not going to happen. Greed. Greed. The reason the Patriots won all those championships is because they got a whole bunch of just really nice players on the team. And their best player always took pay cuts. Tom Brady. But guess what? Like Chris, the the lineman, uh, uh, defensive lineman Chris, for the uh, Chiefs, he got paid. But guess what's going to happen? The next, I want to get paid now. Chris Jones. Now, guess what's going to happen then? Well, we can't pay you because we gave Chris Jones a fat contract, and we gave um, the quarterback a fat contract. We can't pay you. Well, I'm leaving. Now they go up and say, you You see that? I don't know why you're doing that. As a player, I'm just like, it's the bank in every city. That's one thing I don't worry about. You're going to get paid, baby. You're going to get paid, but you're not going to win no championships. You're going to get paid somewhere. Go for the guarantee. Now, how are you going to get to the Hall of Fame and you don't have a championship behind you? Tiago ain't in the Hall of Fame. Tiago make the Hall of Fame. He ain't, a, he ain't a champion. He ain't got there yet. He been out the league. 